So I was doing quite some tests with my stats, let's say, and I was trying to understand which one of them are going to matter the most, how they are going to affect my performance and so on. And I was also trying some uh, builds, let's say, in terms of food that are going to bring some impact, let's say, on my performance, which is going to show the better results and so on. It's mostly regarding elemental one. And yeah, for you to keep in mind that I'm playing with Warlock, so it might be different for your class, but it might give you a better understanding of overall mechanics and how it actually works. So yeah, let's try to dive into it and get a better understanding. Also, just a quick reminder about my Discord server. If you're enjoying my content, want to stay updated with my publications and so on, the link is going to be in the pinned comment. Feel free to join. You're always welcome. Now to the main topic of this video. So, of course, I was doing all the tests in the training ground with different, let's say, stats and parameters. The first one result you're going to see right now, it was basically without any buffs with the stats that I have currently right now, which I'm going to show you just in a second. So here are they, the most important that I have 4.3k intelligence. Actually, some of them might change a little bit because I have upgraded some gears. A little bit. Spirit 2k, magical attack 8.1k, physical defense red, magical defense red 2k 49. The other that matters, magical crit 78.4, crit damage 149.2, cooldown rate 198, attack speed 76, and Umbra enhancement 174.9. So with these stats, I was doing the run. They might be a little bit different again because I have a little bit of an update for my build in compared to what it was before when I was doing these tests. And as you can see here, in two minutes from the very beginning till the very end, here are my results. In total, I was doing 241.1 million damage with my DPS being at 2 million per second. A fairly decent result, not the best, pretty much obvious, and I'm going to explain what's the trick, what's the difference, what's going to have quite a huge impact on overall your performance. But yeah, the most amount of damage that I was receiving from my class, from the Warlock, was from basic attacks. And yes, I have a full set of the class set, let's say, specifically for Warlock. The second one skill which provided me the most amount of damage was Demon Mark Burst. Uh, I actually changed my skill location, the build is a little bit different. I invested the most amount of points into this one skill because it's able, by my test, provide quite a decent amount of damage and it's really worth it. The second one is the Staxian Illusion. I hope I pronounced it correctly. Don't pay attention. Uh, the Apostle Demon Mark Burst. Uh, it's like when I'm in the form, I believe, in the Forbidden Dark Knight Apostle. Uh, so during this form, I'm also using the Demon Mark Burst and it counts separately. I don't know what's the trick because of transformation, I guess. The second one, Ultimate Forbidden Dark Flame Catastrophe provided also quite a decent amount of damage and afterwards there are going to be some other skills they are providing less damage so they don't really matter that much now okay we keep in mind the most important number which is a total of 241.1 million damage yeah in two minutes so i decided what if i'm going to bring my critical hit rate to 100 percent as possible to do in the training ground so i'm able to adjust my stats quite a bit of them and I decided to bring my critical hit rate to 100% and as you can see the results are increased by a lot 267.77 million damage in two minutes with the DPS being 2.2 million per second which is kind of huge improvement because the previous one screen which we're going to see it was 241.1 so we basically increased our damage output by 26 million i didn't change anything at all i only put my crit rate at 100 percent so from here 
I'm going to tell you that crit rate is going to be one of the most important stats because it's going to provide consistent crits and a lot of our damage is coming from basic attacks. So basically we have even at 85% crit rate, 90% crit rate, we have quite some amount of chances of attacks that we're going to deal not as critical and especially it may proc for our ultimates which are again going to they should provide some decent damage here numbers change quite a bit but still we see that the most damage outcome we're going to receive from again the Staxian illusion the demon mark burst and after that it's going to be not ultimates but hand of calamity gateway to darkness I didn't change any of my points, I was just critting all the time. So, because skills they have, let's say, some kind of cooldowns and you have some terms of RNG for critting with your ultimate, which is most likely a single hit, the not spamming skills, they might chance to be reduced in terms of their damage output by a lot. So here is more clear picture now the next moment which i decided to actually do is to try a little bit of um, elemental food when i was trying this out i was thinking okay maybe we have some kind of a hidden impact from the elemental food which is not going to give some additional stats let's say but it's going to transform all our neutral damage to umbro who knows maybe i don't know i decided to test it out and i used the crunchy curry noodles this exact food is going to transform your neutral attacks to umbra one uh, the thing is that warlock he is dealing all his damage all his basic attack skills and so on as umbra damage so now I'm going to show you the results when I actually use this food. And we have the total number of 273.2 million damage. Numbers overall are the same. The whole difference that we're going to see is going to be actually about the Demon Mark Burst. The whole thing about this skill is it has quite a huge RNG in terms of percentages and multipliers that we're going to receive when we're going to open this skill for the Warlock. We actually can see that the current level is dealing in a range from 1198% to 2397%. It's like doubled. It's a huge RNG moment. So from here we can see the difference in terms of the second one run without any food and the third one run with the food and again i have crit rate at 100 percent to stay consistent so if we're going to compare numbers for example we have 38.9 almost 39 million damage from basic attacks and in the previous picture i was able to land more attacks from basic attacks so we have just higher numbers the whole difference is about it the other one skill 29.8 million here it's 30.4 million it's a little bit increased but again it's an rng moment four times four times nothing changed demon mark burst 28.8 demon mark burst 26 million rng moment uh, gateway to darkness 24 million before it was 22.9 hand of calamity 23.9 and 23.5 so from the foot there is no effect only rng in terms of multipliers with the fact that we have a consistent crit rate at 100 percent after that i decided okay what is going to be if i'm going to increase my umbra damage my umbro enhancement by quite a bit and we have such an option with again food which i'm going to show you right now and i'm talking specifically about this one which is called jade corn soup so it working pretty much similar with the previous one with noodles with the only one exception that while uh, using it we are granting our character 
with 22 Umbra enhancements. So we are going to receive to our stats that we have on our character right here. For me, it's like 174.9, additionally 22 points. So at the end, I have 196.9 number in terms of Umbro enhancement. And here are my results. And I get myself results of total 286.9, almost 287 million damage output in two minutes of the battle. So my results increased and by quite a lot. Again, these are 22 points of Umbro enhancement in compared to what I had before with again some kind of RNG moment. We should keep this in mind, 273 million. 273 and 287 so basically my damage output increased by almost 14 million damage from 22 points in umbra enhancement we again can compare a little bit numbers so basic attack 40.9 million to 38.9 million and before yeah it was 41.45 so rng moment a little bit the other skills, they are also kind of increased. This one and 23.9 overall if we're going to summarize all the skills that we are have yeah you may see here not like a huge improvements not a huge difference but overall umbra enhancement in our case is still kind of playing an important role in terms of long perspective like two minutes in the battle our damage increased by 13 14 million which is kind of huge and when we're talking about some cope modes some long battles some heavy bosses this might have actually a huge impact so again using benefits from the food this is kind of an important one aspect and as it's been tested with 100 percent crit rate our damage output is going to increase by kind of a lot and i mean fairly a lot so to sum up let's say I was speaking with a person uh, who has actually worse gear sets. It's not like a full one. And overall, he has worse stats. But the whole thing about this situation, he was dealing more damage. Do you know where it comes from? He has higher enhancement of weapon. He has it at plus 18 and thanks a lot for sharing the results they're kind of important not gonna lie the whole thing that magical defense threat and physical defense threat is going to be increased by a lot and these i believe and consider as the most one important parameter the most important stat overall which is going to define how much damage you're going to deal to opponents Here's the thing that, okay, enhancements, yeah, they're kind of painful, not gonna lie. It takes quite a lot of time, but which strategy I'm using right now? Basically, every day I'm doing some daily farming, some daily routine, farming gold, and so on. And all the bound gold that I have, which is with the lock symbol, I'm using it every day for giving some chance for myself to enhance the weapon. The whole thing that when you're going to reach level 15, let's say, at 3 stars, uh, if you're going to fail with jumping from 15 to 16, you have a fail-safe parameter, which is basically going to increase your chance of a successful enhancement from 15 to 16 when you're going to again reach point of 3 stars. So it's a long process, but it's worth it just to take your time and try to invest some amount of bound gold into enhancing your weapon it's no rush just it's going to be again the long process but at the end of the day it's going to worth it yeah physical defense threat magical defense threat are 
one of the most important parameters in this game. The second one which I consider is really important is going to be actually crit rate, believe it or not. Yeah, I mean, the basic stats, they're obvious. Magical attack and intelligence, they're basically going to define how much damage you are able to deal. So they are no questions, they're the top priority overall. The second place is going to be magical and physical defense threat. The next moment is going to be magical crit. After that, we're talking about all the rest stuff, and I think that Umber Enhancement and Crit Damage are kinda equal. More important, a little bit, is going to be Crit Damage, because uh, it's a pure number, which is going to multiply your damage output. Umber Enhancement, this parameter is going to be reduced. Again, it's damage increase by a certain percentage, but it's not a pure damage increase like critical damage after that we're going to talk about cooldown rate and attack speed and yeah i believe that's pretty much it hope this is going to give you some better understanding of how the game works what should you focus on how you can improve your performance and in future video i actually want to test some other food as well to understand a little bit better which parameters are going to matter the most from attack food from crit food from uh, critical damage food so we're going to test it out and figure out which is going to perform in a better way again hope you enjoyed it don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe and see you guys in the next one take care